Welcome to another WPSD Newsmakers program. I am your host, Rain. Today we have a special guest. He is a wonderful artist and former Pittsburgh Steeler, Mr. Baron Batch. Welcome to WPSD. Thank you. My first question is, where do you get your inspiration for your art? And what kind of art do you create? So for me, art is very much about feeling a certain way, so conveying emotions. So the inspiration I get to put into my art, it's from my day-to-day -day, um, emotions that I get from life and the world around me. So I try to always just be where I'm at and be able to feel a certain way at all times about where I'm at and then use that to create, if that makes sense. Yes, that's interesting. Why do you sign your painting with an I and the word free? So for me, from my perspective, I get the one and only perspective of how it's made. So every stroke I, I put on there, I'm actually watching that go down. So when I started signing it with the I, it's a representation of that's my work. That's my perspective of what I want to put out there or onto the canvas and only I actually have that perspective. Is art, art something you've always loved or is this something new? It's something that I've always loved. I think, I think everybody loves art um, in their own right. I think uh, art's a very uh, encompassing thing. Um, and I think to a certain extent, everybody has an affinity for it. You were a Steeler before. How is art like playing football? In football, to be good at that, it's, it's very much about a repeated process. Uh, and that's, that's how art is as well. It's about being able to do the same thing um, over and over and over again and get better at each time and be able to tweak it and improve. And in that way, sports and athletics are very much, both in their own rights, forms of art. When you were growing up, who is your hero and who do you look up to now? Um, growing up, I mean, I had, I had a lot of heroes. I'd say at the time, my heroes were always uh, the people that helped me survive the circumstance I was in at the time. Um, so I've always had like a lot of heroes for me around in the form of uh, people that help. Um, now, uh, I'd say it's, it's anybody, a hero to me is anybody who follows their dream um, in, today's, in today's society where so many people don't. Anybody who chases after something they really want to do or something they believe in, um, in their own right to me is, is a hero. That's interesting. I understand that you've been working on a special project with the Pittsburgh Airport. Can mm -hmm. you tell us about that? Uh, a, a little bit. I can tell you a little bit about it. It's, uh, so the project will, I'll be doing um, a piece of my signature imagery and it will be, it'll be humongous in the airport. And then the rest will be, you'll have to wait and see. I can't wait to see it. Perfect. Um, so why do you call your art Pop X? Um, so I'm, being in Pittsburgh, I'm, I am heavily influenced from pop art, you know, the artists that, the, the Andy Warhol, guys like, um, like a Burton Morris that, that really are very ingrained in like this city and the artistic history of this area and region. So um, my artwork is a mixture between um, pop art and expressionism. So with that, that's where that term is coined. Um, and then also every, <clears throat> in, in art history, every movement uh, has a post-movement, like modernism and then post-modernism. Um, so in a way, that's, that happens every 30, 35 years after uh, artistic like movement usually. And the pop art movement necessarily hasn't happened yet. So in a way, I guess I actually am like the post-movement of pop art. 
Cool. So tell us about your studio in Braddock and how does that serve the community? So the studio actually is in Homestead. Uh, it's right up the street from Braddock. Same, it's all Pittsburgh. It's all the same place, I'd say. Um, the, our, our mission is to build community um, in, in the area that we're in. Um, and we do a lot of outreach in that way uh, to get people down to Homestead, um, to uh, show, show people a side of um, the region and the area that they might not necessarily have seen before. So uh, technically we're a creative agency and it's a group of artists that work together um, to create change. Do you have any advice for our students who want to become artists? Absolutely. Um, I'd say uh, just make something. Um, it, it's, uh, for me, I, I still jump around into different um, fields of expression, whether it's writing, maybe it's photography, maybe it's coming up with like a certain food dish or different things. Um, but just make something. Don't just, uh, don't just sit around. and and not create, because when you're doing that, that is the only time wasted. Well, we've, Mr. Batch, we've run out of time. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching the WPSD Newsmakers. Join us next time when we talk to a person who's making a difference in the community. Goodbye.